Hi. Hi. Are you sure this course is just for two four nine nine? Yes. And you know this is the only course with this expertise across the world. No way. Yes way. Don't delay. Enroll now. Geeks learning together. Very good evening and welcome back to Geeks for Geeks practice. Please give me a plus one in the chat if my voice is clearly audible to everyone and everything is working fine. And then I will start with the problem of the day for yesterday as well. Hi, Vanchika, and hi, Shreya as well. So, guys, you can just hit the like button and give me a plus one in the chat. Then I'll get started with the problem. So, let me quickly share my screen. We'll be discussing yesterday's problem of the day that was count special numbers, right? so basically this is the problem that has been given to us and let's quickly check this problem out also okay so what does this problem say it says that uh, we will be given an array okay so first uh, the very first thing uh, that is being said here in this problem is just give me a second let me use the draw button yeah so it says that we'll be given an array okay first thing is that we'll be given an array and this array will be of integers right now after this the problem says that uh, it will consist of n integers, n positive integers, right? And your task is to count. Okay, we have to count the number of special numbers in this. Okay, so what is our task in this given array? We have to do what? We have to count the number of special integers. Okay, the number of special integers. Special. We will see what is the definition of a special integer here. Okay, we have to count the number of special integers here. Is this much part clear to everyone? Please write SI in the chat if it is clear. We have to count the number of special integers in this particular problem. A number is said to be special if it is divisible by at least one other element in this array. Okay. So if you take the very first example, okay, if you take, uh, if you, let's say you take this particular array, right, you take two, three and six. Okay. So if you take the element two, okay, if you take the element two, so is two divisible by any other elements of the array? Is two divisible by any other element of the array? Please write yes or no in the chat. No, 2 is not divisible by any other element of the array. Okay. If I talk about the element 3, so is 3 divisible by any element of the array? Is 3 divisible by any other element of the array? No. Please write no in the chat. No, it is not divisible. Okay. But if I look for if I am looking for 6, so 6 is uh, 6 is divisible by uh, 3 and 2 both. Okay, so 6 is at least divisible by one of the elements. Either you can divide it by 2 or 3, any of them. So that is why 6 is a special number, right? So 6 is a special number. And yes, it is divisible by one of the elements. So that is why uh, the number of uh, the count of special numbers will be 1 for this particular test case. Is this part clear to everyone? Please write yes in the chat, guys. Is this much part clear to all of you? Please write yes in the chat. Okay. And hit the like button as well if you are clear till this point. Is this much part clear to all of you? Uh, guys, please hit the like button and write yes in the chat. Okay. So why 6 is a special number? Because 6 is at least divisible by one of the other elements. Okay. 2 is not divisible by any other element of the array. 3 is not divisible by any other element of the array. So is this much part clear? Let me check with the audio. Okay. Audio is fine. So is this much part clear? Then only I can proceed further. Okay. So Aman says that he is clear, I think. Okay. Now let's look at the next test case. So if you look at the next test case, so let us say that we have all of the elements. Okay. Let's say we have all the elements as, let's say we have something like five. Okay. Then we have five, then we have five, and then we have five. Okay. So if you look for the first five, okay. Is it a special element? Yes. The very first five is a special element because it is at least divisible by some other element. Like you can divide it by any five. Then if you look at the second five, so it is also a special element. Then if you look at the third five, so it is also a special element. Okay. Then you, if you look at the fourth five, then it is also a special element. So in this case, uh, the count of the special integers would be what? Can I say that the count is four? Please write four in the chat for this particular test case, guys. Uh, please write four in the chat or yes in the chat, and then I will. Uh, then we can proceed further. Definitely. Is this much part clear to everyone? Uh, guys, please let me know in the chat, and you can write yes in the chat as well. Okay. Yes, baby. Okay. So is this much part clear to everyone? Okay, Aman, is it clear to you? Nitish, is, is it clear to you, Shreya? And everyone, till now, the special integer criteria is clear. Okay. Okay. Now, let's uh, let's take a random example. Okay, let's say if I take another example, if I take an example like uh, 
let's say if i have 2 comma 2 okay let's say if i have uh, if i have something like this let's say if i have 2 then i have 3 okay then i have 6 okay then i have uh, 9 and then i have 2 if i have this particular array right so in if i have this particular array then how many special integers are there can i say that 2 is special yes or no is 2 special yes because if you will see for this 2 so it can be divisible by this right so you can write yes in the chat that okay yes it is divisible if i look for the second 2 also so yes it is also a special number because this 2 can be divided by this 2 right if I see for 3, so can 3 be divided by any other number? Please write yes or no in the chat. Can this 3 be divided by any other number in the array? Yes or no? No, it cannot be. So it is not a special number. Okay. Then after that, if I look for, let's say, 6. So 6 is a special number because 6 can be divided by 2 or it can be divided by 3, any of them. Right. So 6 can be divided by other elements of the array. So yes, it is a special number. Then if I see for 9, so uh, for 9, I can say that yes, 9 is also a special number because 9 can be divided by 3, which is the other element of the array. So 3 is one element of the array that can divide 9. So 9 is also a special element. So what is the counter here? What is the total number of special elements here? Please write uh, in the chat, guys. Uh, please quickly let me know. I think 4 elements. Now please write 4 in the chat. The total number of special elements or the total number of special integers in this array is 4. Please write 4 in the chat and give me a plus 4 in the chat, guys. And then only we can proceed further. Okay, is this much part clear to everyone? Then only I can proceed further. Is this much part clear? Please write yes in the chat, guys. If I am clear to everyone. Okay, is it clear to everyone? Is my voice lagging or something? I hope that is not the case. Is it clear to everyone? Please write yes in the chat. Uh, is it clear to Vanchika, Shreya, Nitish, Aman, Crazy Memes and everyone? Okay. Fine. So now what can we what can we do here? Right. The thing is that how can we approach this problem? Because if you will see for this, so the counter is going to be nothing but four here. So how can I try to get that counter? Okay. So the very first thing that I can do is I can say one thing that whenever the elements are same, then they are going to be special. Na? That is one thing. So in this particular case, what I can say is if I keep like if I keep the array as sorted now, like first thing is that I can uh, like I can sort the array. Okay. First thing is that we can sort the given array. Okay. If I have to do it, so one of the easiest way of doing it is that I can sort the given array. Okay. If I sort the given array, then the array becomes like what? It will become something like uh, 2, 2, 3, 6, 9. Okay. This is how the array would look like. So let me just remove this much part. So first thing is that I can sort this array. Now, uh, I hope that the voice is clear to everyone. Yeah. So first thing is that I will sort this array. Now, once uh, I need to start from the scratch for DSA, I will give you suggestions after this uh, live is over. Okay. So you can see here, once I have sorted, uh, let's say once I have sorted this particular array, right? So in uh, after we have sorted this particular array, then what I can check is I can keep my I index here. Okay. And now let's say if I'm checking that initially I'll keep the counter as zero. Let's say if I have the counter variable. So maybe what I can do is I can keep the counter here as zero. Okay. And then I will simply check. So is I and I plus one element the same? Yes or no? Please tell me. Is the element I and I plus one same? Yes or no? Yes. They are same. Okay. If I and I plus one element are same. So this means that I th element can be divided by the I plus one element. Okay. So this means that I will uh, mark the counter as one. So I'll increase the counter by one. Okay. So the counter increases by one here. Okay. The counter increases by one. Then after that, what will happen is, after that, my I moves here. Okay. After that, what will happen? My I will move here. Now, since my I moves here, now, since my I is standing at this particular point, so I will start my J from the beginning. Okay. I'll start my J from zero. Okay. I'll have a J loop, which will start from zero and it will be lesser than I. And I will check for any Jth element that can divide the Ith element. Okay. So in this case, my J will start, uh, like, uh, as I said, my J is, I will try to start my J from zero j is lesser than i so in this case what will happen j will be here and this jth element i can see that is able to divide my ith element so i can say that okay i will break and i'll increase the counter because this current ith element is also a special element so the count becomes two here okay is this much part clear to all of you guys please write yes in the chat and you can hit the like button as well okay now after this uh, what will happen further is my i proceeds further right so i will move somewhere here now, when my I moves here, 
okay when my i moves at this particular point so again i will start with my j pointer so j is here initially j is here now can this jth element divide this ith element no it cannot so i will move my j forward so j will come here okay j will always be lesser than i so j comes here now can this jth element divide this ith element no it cannot so again what i will do is i will say that okay uh, we we cannot increase the counter here and then uh, i can say that this ith element that is 3 it is not a special element okay after that uh, what will happen is uh, my pointer will move forward so i comes here right so i pointer comes here now if i will see again so i and i plus 1th element are not the same so i will start with my j so j again starts from 0 as you can see again j will start from 0 and j will be lesser than i you can say now again i check that is this jth element able to divide uh, the ith element yes so in this case i can say that the ith element will be a special element so in this case again i can increase the counter and i can increase the counter to nothing but 3a okay it it will increase by one obviously so after this what will happen my i pointer will move forward and i will come here okay i comes at this element 9 now when the uh, uh, i comes at this particular index 9 right, uh, element 9 okay so in this case again my j will start so j will start from 0 so j starts from where j starts from here so is this jth element able to divide the element 9 uh, no 2 is not able to divide 9 then i move my j forward so j comes here okay then is j is this element able to divide this yes uh, no it is not so again i will move my j forward so i come to this j and this element is able to divide this particular element 9 okay so since 3 is able to divide 9 so i can say that okay this ith element is again a special element so i will say that okay let's increase our counter and let's break from it okay so after this the counter will become what the counter will become nothing but 4 and then after this what will happen my i pointer will move forward and the array gets exhausted so i pointer moves here is this part clear to everyone right so finally the total number of special numbers okay this is what this is the total number of special numbers total special numbers right total number of special numbers or integers you can say is this clear so total four integers are there is this much part clear to everyone please write yes in the chat guys and you can hit the like button as well if you are clear with this is this part clear to everyone guys yes or no please write yes in the chat okay is this much part clear how we were running this algorithm so first thing is that you can sort the array okay and if uh, yeah it will be n cross m you can say that yeah like it will be kind of squarish in nature only so what we can do here is if i will uh, proceed further right so let's try and write a little bit of code here so first thing that uh, we are going to do here is that uh, we will declare a counter let's say, let's say we will have our counter initially as zero okay and then what we will do is uh, we will start so for uh, in i can start from where like first of all i'll sort the array obviously i forgot to sort it so i will sort the array so sort uh, arr dot uh, begin okay comma arr dot n so first of all i can sort this array simply and once i have sorted this array then what will happen i will start from where let's say i can start my i from 0 i is lesser than n and then i will do an i plus plus okay so i'll iterate for all the elements in the array and then i will check that if i plus 1 is lesser than n okay because always i'm going to check for the i plus 1th element so for the uh, when i am going to check for i and i plus 1 whether they are same or not so for the last element uh, i and i plus 1 i plus 1 is not going to be available for the last element now so that is why i will check that if i plus 1 is lesser than n okay so if i and i plus 1 both are existing and in this case what happens is uh, and arr of what we can say here is arr of uh, i is equal equal to arr of i plus 1 if uh, i and i plus 1th element are the same okay in that case i will do a counter plus plus is this part clear to everyone please write yes in the chat okay then i will increase the counter because this is a special number otherwise if they are not the same then in that case what will we will we do we will uh, check for other elements from the array so we will start our j from 0 till lesser than i because all the smaller elements that are uh, the elements that are smaller than the current ith element they can they they might be able to divide the ith element so that is what i am taking that if my ith element is divisible by any of the smaller uh, jth element okay So if the remainder is zero while dividing with the jth element, in that case I can simply increase the counter by one, and I can simply break that. Okay, this ith element is also a special element, and uh, in this case, in the end, we can simply return the answer here, uh, or you can say the counter. Okay, is this much part clear to everyone, guys? Please, please tell me. Uh, please write yes or no. 
is this part clear to everyone? You can see that uh, for this particular sample, if I take the sample as 2, 2, 3, 6, it is uh, coming to be 3. If I take another sample, let's say, if I take 5 elements as I took and I take 9 here also, so the output I think should be 9 here. Let's try and compile and run that sample test case also. Okay. So you can see here that for the sample test case, uh, 2239, uh, 22369, it is coming out to be 4. Why? Because two, both the twos, these two twos are what? They are special. And 6 is also special and 9 is also special. So except 3, all the other 4 elements are special. Right. Now let's try and submit this code to see if it gets accepted. I hope that it will get accepted. Okay. So it does get accepted. So is this much problem clear to everyone? Is this problem clear to everyone? If yes, then guys, uh, please do one thing. Please give me a plus 1 in the chat. Okay. If this problem is clear to everyone, then uh, please hit the like button. I'm requesting you to hit the like button if you are clear with it. So that I can understand that you are clear and you can give me a plus one in the chat as well. Okay. Will this problem be optimized? Uh, you can use uh, sieve also. Uh, so you might be able to do it in, in login, but uh, still this approach is also fine. This is also getting accepted. But you can use the prime algorithm, uh, sieve of prime algorithm also for doing this particular problem. That is okay. Now what I will do is I'll just quickly provide you the code for this particular problem. Just a second. Okay, so is it clear to everyone? Nitish, is, is that uh, is this approach clear to you? Please write yes in the chat if you are clear with this, and other people can also write yes. So let me quickly provide the code in the chat. I'm generating the URL as well. Okay, so let me quickly provide you with the link. Yeah, so this is the link. And Aman is saying clear and other people are saying clear. Basically, why I have done it using this way? Because uh, like this is a, uh, this is an optimal approach only. It gets accepted. So you can try out. I think there can be, uh, there can be a prime approach for it also. And uh, I think you can uh, apply some other algorithm also. You can do it in, in root and time also. So there can be a lot of approaches. But if I'll cover all of them, so it will take one complete hour and other people will not watch the live video. So that is why I'm not covering it. Okay. So, but is it clear to everyone? Please write yes in the chat and then uh, we can end this session also. But guys, you have not hit the like button. So you can make sure to hit the like button. Okay. So again, I'm just repeating that I will check if uh, I will first of all sort the given array. Initially, the counter will be zero. And I will iterate through this sorted array. If uh, I will check if the i plus 1th element is available and the i-th element is equal to the i plus 1th element, then I will increase the counter. If i-th element is uh, not equal to the i plus 1th, then I will try to check if the i-th element is a special element or not. So in that case, I'm checking if all the elements lesser than the i-th element, uh, uh, less, uh, just before the i-th element, all the elements, if any one of them is able to divide it, then I'll increase the counter and I'll simply break. And in the end, I will return the counter. So that is what uh, we are doing in this problem. And you can give me a plus one again before we end this particular session, right? So is this problem clear to everyone? Please write yes in the chat, guys. And uh, I think a lot of people are watching us. So guys, you can hit the like button. Okay, and make sure to solve the problem of the day for today as well. Tomorrow, I think Siddharth will be taking up that problem. So make sure to solve it. Thanks a lot, Prabha, as well. So thank you, everyone, for joining for this particular session. And I will see you with another problem of the day on Saturday. Till then, good night, take care, and keep coding, guys. Have a great day. Thank you.